In Minecraft, how to use lightning rods. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a lightning rod. This is what it looks like. Now, really, to use it to make it active, you can place it anywhere. And you can even place it on the side of blocks. The only position where it doesn't necessarily work is underneath. That's the only place I wouldn't put it. Or covered. So make sure that at least above where it's sitting, there is some sky. So, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a block right there. Great. So, you got your lightning rods. And yes, you can leave them in the air if you want to. <laughs> That's up to you. Whoops. But you just place them down like that. Now, the use of the lightning rod is to redirect lightning within the 32 block radius. So, that means it has to be thundering. Now, thunder in Minecraft, just so you know, is much more common when you don't sleep. That's right, if you want to get a thunderstorm, I highly suggest you don't sleep. You may have to fight off some phantoms, but it is the best way to get the thunderstorm. If you do sleep, chances are you won't see a thunderstorm very for a very long time. Don't sleep, guys. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and make it thunder right now, just assuming that it's already thundering for you. Ooh, here comes the rain. Got the lightning rod. And all you need to do is wait for the lightning to strike. Now, it'll come in a strike, and if it's too far away, it'll just strike in some place random. But with it, once it gets it within a certain block radius, like I said, about 32 blocks, so maybe around here, it will not strike anywhere on the ground, but instead, right here, right on this lightning rod. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward until I like... Never mind, no fast forwarding. You just saw it. <laughs> okay, I don't have to fast forward. Oh, two of them. Wow. Oh, my goodness. We are the lightning gods. We let the lightning strike. And here they are. Isn't this great? So it doesn't strike anything else. So you can make it so it doesn't strike your wooden house. It doesn't strike your sheep or your flock of animals. And also, here's the coolest part. If you had a creeper and it struck this thing and the creeper was right next to it, it's best in a, in a pit, honestly. Like, this is the best way to do it. Whoops. It would turn them into charged creepers. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I told you. I told you. Okay. Okay. That That's pretty cool stuff. That's pretty much the basic, basic most important things about lightning rods and how to use them. Got it? Okay. Well, there you go. Now you know what to do with lightning rods and how to use them in Minecraft.